Hi, this is Dr. Stevens here. I'm explaining how to do the tape and gauze dressing for a big toe fusion. So this patient is four weeks out from a big toe fusion where we've put a plate and screws across her joint. At this point, the stitches are out and the swelling is starting to go down and she can now start to do the tape and gauze dressing at home so that she can take a shower. I tell the patients that they can do this every day if they would like to and work on scar and rub the scar with vitamin E oil to soften it but then they have to go ahead and do the tape and gauze dressing after each shower. Alternatively, they can go ahead and leave the dressing on intact for a week at a time and just bag the foot up with duct tape and trash bags or the wound bag and that will allow it to stay dry. When we do a tape and gauze dressing, we start with gauze to protect the skin from the adhesives in the tape. You start at the edge of your scar and wrap loosely around the foot. You want to get about two layers of gauze everywhere. We do loop around the big toe because that's where the tape is going to go. And again, keep things nice and loose, not too tight with the gauze. So at this point, I've now wrapped the toe and everything else with two layers of gauze. I could cut this off and save the rest of the gauze for tomorrow's dressing. But for sake of time, I'll just go ahead and finish this out and put a little extra gauze on her. Next, we're going to use some one-inch athletic tape by Johnson & Johnson. There isn't anything fancy about this. This is the same kind of tape that an athletic trainer would use to tape a football player's ankle before a game. The qualities in the tape that we appreciate are that it's cloth, and it's very strong, and it doesn't stretch. It's not elastic so it actually makes a small cast for the toe. I usually overlap the skin on top of the gauze about just a half an inch or so to keep the dressing from sliding down. When you do wrap the foot, it's important to grasp the tape and pull so that you don't over tighten it on the patient's foot and make it strangle the blood supply. As you're working your way down, overlap the tape each time by about 50%. That'll give you a nice contour to the foot. And again, we're not trying to lay this on tight at all. I'm definitely putting the pressure on my fingers when I pull so that there's no pressure. When you get to the end of the foot, wrap the, or rip the tape off, and then use your fingers to smooth it down so that the contour of the foot can be matched. You notice how that makes the tape wrinkle up a little bit? That's okay. We just want it to match the shape and the contour of the foot. This is the most important part of the dressing. We're going to put two braces around the big toe this way and two braces this way, holding the toe still. Notice that I rip off about eight inches or so of tape. I slide it in just like dental floss between the first and second toe. And then I wrap it around and I'll turn the foot here. Notice how we've crisscrossed the tape like a breast cancer ribbon. So I have one brace going this way and now I'll put a brace this way. Again, another 8 to 10 inches of tape, and I go from the medial side of the foot towards the outside edge of the foot. So now I've got one brace each direction, and then I'm just going to repeat that, going a little bit further down the toe towards the toenail, again crisscrossing on the medial side of the foot, or the inside edge of the foot, and then one last brace going towards the outer edge of the foot. Now, we also did some work at her second toe, and your surgery may include second and third toe work or more. If there is a need to do anything at the second toe, the tape is again brought out to length, about 8 inches or 10. A smaller section of tape is torn off and stuck right in the middle, tape to tape. So now it's just pure cloth without any stickiness. This is then lifted up and over the toe that needs to be taped, and it's just cloth there, so there's no adhesive. Again, the foot is, is raised up and the tape is crisscrossed like a breast cancer ribbon, and you're going to gently pull the toe downward and tape it to the bottom of the dressing. And then an additional strap would be wrapped around here to hold these tails on. Now her toe doesn't actually need the dressing at the second toe, so I'm going to take that off. It was for demonstration only. Lastly, once all the tape is done, we utilize a, an adhesive bandage 
that overwraps the tape. It makes it look prettier, it keeps it cleaner, and it applies a little bit of compression to keep the swelling down. So we wrap around the foot, again stretch it out, let it spring back, and then apply it. If you wrap it too tightly, you'll quickly notice lack of blood supply to the toes. A couple wraps is all you need. Firmly tear it, and then it sticks to itself. And there you have a forefoot dressing with tape and gauze for a big toe fusion.